What is up, my fellow Nintendo dwellers? Couch Bander, we're doing another modding in five minutes or less. This time we're looking at the last of the FPS Fallout games, Fallout 76, obtained via Game Pass. Make sure you use bats and crit that like button, comment down below on your favorite Fallout games, subscribe to the channel for more of my weekly modding content. Now let's jump into it. What is up, guys? So today I'm actually going to be teaching you how to mod Fallout 76. This is one that's a little weird because it is a multiplayer game and you leave multiplayer enabled. Uh, most of these mods are just cosmetics or some small gameplay enhancements that only function on your stuff. But anyways, here's the vanilla state. Let's go ahead and just click into the game real quick. So vanilla state game. I did not realize they gave characters butt cracks in this, but that's okay. So vanilla state. All right. Now let's get modding. All right, step one is always is to enable mods. I've already done that. So we're gonna open our mods folder here. For this mod, I'm going to be using the Enhanced Vanilla Skins. Let me double check that name. Enhanced Vanilla Body 76. And what we're gonna do for this, we're gonna open up the data folder here. We're gonna go over into my downloads. We've got the EVB76 here. We're going to go ahead and 7-zip and open archive. We're going to go ahead and use this one. We're going to snag the data folder location. We're going to click extract on both of these files here, and we're going to select the data folder location. Now, if we come in here right at the top, there's our meshes that we imported. Step two, we actually have to set up a custom INI for these to load. Sounds challenging, it's not really. So we've got our folder location here. Let me go ahead and snag. Another folder. So what you're gonna do is you're going to go to your documents here. You're gonna scroll down to my games. Call it 76. And we're gonna copy this project 76 INI here. Then we're going to right click and rename this one. We're going to just put custom at the end of this. Make sure you leave the INI on there. All right. Now that we've got that called custom, let's go ahead and open this. We're going to be scrolling down and we are looking for the S archive, S resource archive to list, which is right here. Now we've got our names over here. So we're going to go ahead and right click on the name here. Make sure you get all of it. We're gonna copy that. We're gonna come into that resource two, hit, a, hit the space bar, paste it, put a comma, and we're gonna put the next one right after. So let's go ahead and rename this guy. Paste and comma. All right, and just like that, we have the mods loaded into the INI as far as the resources. So that should actually load up those BSA files. Now all that's left is to go ahead and play the game. And if we did this right, those BSA files should load in and change our character's appearance. And also for this mod, you can just check out my description. It's in the same spot as always. Let's see if this actually works. You'll also notice I'm loading up into the public world, so. Just another thing to note, these mods definitely work as far as the public game goes. All right. And voila. We have successfully loaded it in. And no more underwear. So that is how you mod Fallout 76. As I said, it's primarily cosmetics as far as a lot of us. What I've seen, like making certain textures glow whenever you're near them or glow as far as what you can see. But yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any suggestions on other games or mods that you'd like to see on the channel, please message me on Twitter at CouchCommand, that's CouchCMD, or feel free to hit me up in my Discord. Links up at the top of my channel page. Hit that like button if you are the terror of the wasteland. Tell me down below in the comments about your favorite Fallout game. And finally, hit the subscribe button so you can get more of my weekly modding content. This was CouchCommand. You all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.